At the table is Lauren Parsons from the Bluegrass Community Foundation. Yes. Welcome. Yes. Welcome to the table. Okay, so you were here. She was sitting on the sidelines before our last segment. Where she, I can't even say because it just, just I don't, don't want to. Where she, <laughs> where she got us got to hear about us saying the words we don't like. And so we just asked her what it is. What's your word? Lumber. <laughs> I hate the way my mouth feels saying it. Lumber. 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 Oh, Lumber. goodness. That is worst. weird. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you got something. Well, thank you for sharing your word with us, and thanks so much for being here to tell us a little bit more about the Bluegrass Community Foundation and the great things that you guys have, in, have going on. So what does the Bluegrass Community Foundation do? It's almost like, what don't we do? Uh -huh. <laughs> um, I mean, we are a foundation, a public foundation for the community. So we invest a lot of dollars in the community. We um, believe heavily in, um, in equitable green spaces across um, Lexington. Also, we work in 15 surrounding counties as well. So it's not just Lexington, it's Central Kentucky and into Appalachia. Uh, green spaces, public places, education, public art, everything that makes our community um, more vibrant, engaged, and equitable. Um, and we work with donors, mm -hmm. um, charitable people, families, um, businesses, corporations. We work with nonprofits as well. So we really work with anybody who has charitable designs Very in our community. Cool. That's incredible. Mm -hmm. Are there any kind of specific initiatives that you guys are focusing on right now? There are several. This is a fun time of year. Um, one, because I love Halloween and all that. <laughs> but also, we have a lot of fun things going on. Um, one, we are partnering with the Lexington Public Library and the University of Kentucky mm -hmm. on that community reads that I know you all are familiar with. As a community, we're encouraging everyone to read The Color of Law by Richard Rothstein. And um, we are, that's kind of coinciding with the Undesigned the Red Line exhibit at the Lexington mm -hmm. Public Library. Now we had um, an, an event with an initiative we call BGCF 365 there last night. And that's a giving circle for sort of like young emerging philanthropists. Um, they give a dollar a day. And we grant $25,000 a year to um, Lexington nonprofits, and that'll be in the spring. So anyone can join that at any time during the year. It is a fun group. We learn more about what's going on in our community and how we can be more engaged and help out. Yeah, cool. very cool. Very, very cool. Well, you touched a little bit on the mm -hmm. um, the reading initiative, the book reading mm -hmm. initiative. Tell us more about that, though. Let's dive a little deeper. Yeah, so um, we know we've done this before uh, with last year with um, the Heather McGee book, The Sum of Us. Mm -hmm. We did a community reads mm -hmm. with the library on that we brought Heather McGee to town um, and she gave an amazing keynote address and did a moderated conversation with Wonderful. Renee Shaw as well <sighs> and it's just a great way to um, bring the community together around a topic and it's they call it the one Lexington one book yes. initiative so um, we're doing that again with the color of law and then as the capstone for that event on October 24th um, author Richard Rothstein and his daughter Leah Rothstein, they have co-written sort of a sequel, mm. and that's called Just Action. And it's kind of like the game plan and toolkit right. for how to um, undo those policies they talk about in The Color of Law. Wow, it's wonderful. That is awesome. Yeah. It really is. So where can people find out more information sure. about all the offerings that you have? <laughs> well, our website has great information, and the, um, the link to that event is bgcf.org slash events. Um, Renee Shaw will be there again, and the Uniting Lex Voices Lexington Choir will also be there. It'll be their first public performance. So, Get out. Oh, oh yeah, I've yeah. never heard of this choir. So tell us no. a little bit about okay. that. Yeah, so it is. It was actually born out of Chicago, out of the Civil Rights Movement, and Lexington is their first sort of like satellite location, Ooh. and that was made possible by a grant from Bluegrass Community Foundation and our Lexington Black Prosperity Initiative. So that was about a year ago that they got that grant. So they've been working um, since then. They have a group of about 30 kids who will be singing some songs to sort of kick off that evening on the 24th. Oh, oh what are their names? Goodness. The Uniting Voices Lexington. United. Beautiful. Yeah. Love it. Well, Lauren, man, y'all are doing some great work. And keep it up. We really appreciate you. And thank